Ding dong. Hello. Happy New Year. <laughs> Where did we leave off last time? Uh, we drank champagne. Prost Neues, ja, Prost ne? Neues. And we painted the walls. And then I went on a two week vacation to Sweden. And since I'm back, I did a little details here and there, but the most significant change is this guy. One of the reasons why I wanted a tiny house to begin with is that I have a space that I can heat up because I'm now living in the studio which is huge and it's so cold, especially when we built the tiny house. And now I have my little friend, whoops, <laughs> I might have put some paper in there, Shh, ignore this. I have my little friend and I can heat it up and this I made from a, a piece of steel I had left over and I think it looks so nice together with the black oven. Very happy with it. And I did some detail work on the windows. I sanded off all the surfaces and put little wooden covers and also the first little window sill. And I finished the floor. Oh, slippery. Ice floor. <laughs> ice floor, ice skates. Will das auch machen? Ja? Mach's kurz. Who can go further? Hold on. By the way, thanks Lars. Ah ja. Lars Brother. <laughs> from my new... I'm a get on hoodie. I'm a get on... <laughs> okay. So, da muss man es bleiben. Okay. Okay, endlos. <laughs> Hast du dir weh getan? Nee, nee. Ich hab nur vielleicht eine Macke hier mit so jetzt gemacht. Da geht's mir vor. Das sah richtig krass aus. Guck mal, hier spucke. Ich hab mich noch voll gespuckt, Alter. Das ist so auf jeden Fall von mir. Ich hab so richtig spucken. So today what I wanna do is finish the rest of the windows. And then... We can move to my favorite part, which is the bed frame and storage. And I thought for the storage, we can maybe use these aluminum boxes. Okay. Yep. A little bit less storage. I have more boxes. Okay, sure. <laughs> Don't judge me. Promise. <laughs> 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 Let's do some planning. I'm still confused about the, the way I want to construct the bed because there are several things I want the bed to be. A bed, uh, storage, and I want to integrate um, a table into it. And I want to use the aluminum boxes, of course. Something like this. couple more. Okay, the original idea that I had thinking about this in the live stream was to build quick access storage and deep storage. But now that I'm thinking about it, I wanted to construct, basically view this as a drawer front, but it has storage and build a box to, at the back of this so I can pull it all out. 
but thinking about this at night this is the edge of the bed this is where the kitchen is i can't even pull this out and on the other side i want to have storage for my shoes and my jacket so this will cause so many problems to have deep storage and the thing is i don't think i will need that much deep storage and now that i'm seeing this deep storage <laughs> This is like a crawl space. Okay. I think it's the easiest solution. Ne? <laughs> Am I cheating? A little bit maybe. And this will be a little bit higher than the overall height of the whole construction that I can have a slide out table here. So this is 75. I think, what do we start with? We start with a general beam construction. Okay. Perfect! <gasps> Yay! Okay. Okay, two things about this construction. One, the screws are too short. Yes, that's why we pre-drilled with the Forstner bit, because we're too lazy to run out and get more screws. Also, I have a bunch of those screws left over from constructing the house and I just want to use them. Second of all, if you build something like this, it would make more sense to turn these 90 degrees and have the thicker, thicker side upright for more stability. I'm doing it like this because we will need this distance later on in the project. And also this is pretty oversized for a platform bed anyway, so no worries there. But it would be more stable to flip it 90 degrees. <laughs> Already starting to look like something. I mean, there will be two supports underneath here, but even without it, yeah. plenty. Nice. No? I traded the horse box for the uh, aluminum box that turned into the DJ booth. Okay. And one other thing. <laughs> I love it. It's so shitty. It's the best. Day two. Hello. 
microphone. <laughs> oh my god, it fits perfectly. It's like it was made for this. It has a six centimeter distance all around and has just the perfect amount of, amount of space for these Euro boxes in the middle. And if you take them out, panic room, panic room. Ey, aber ohne Scheiß, hier ist so viel Platz. Das ist richtig geil. Das ist richtig geil. Was ist denn hier? Hä? Hier ist ja was drin. <lacht> was? Hä? Remember your live stream? The live stream? Yeah. Oh. <lacht> okay, so if you don't know what this is, I did a live stream last Sunday and I wanted, wanted to use some like ball bearings, single ball bearings. Oh my God, imagine you have these in your shoes. This is probably the most dangerous shoe in the world. <gasps> Should we do it? Yes? <laughs> no, your knee. Good point. Do it to Felix shoe. <laughs> Felix, mm, you want to do this to your new Mars yards? I challenge you. I accept. Oh, that's great! Oh, nice! Oh, God. But after seeing you just slide without <laughs> shoes on this floor, I'm not sure if we should do this. We should. <laughs> we should? Okay. We should do it in a live stream, though. Next okay. live stream. Next live stream. That's so funny. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we need a in between space for the table and the chairs to live. And on top of that is where the bed is. So I'm not worried about the stability of this. I'm worried that we only have four points where the next layer of plywood can rest on and I don't want it to sag. So I think we should get proper beams. The problem is this is a <laughs> You think we can make it work? Okay, let's go shopping. I want to make things easy for me and instead of measuring the table size that is going to live in this negative space, I'm going to cut the tabletop first, place it in there and then adjust this to the size of the tabletop. Let's go. Yeah. Hast du? Yup. Boah, der war knapp, ne? Der war knapp. Nicht so gut ge gerissen. Viel zu tief gegriffen. Maybe this is Max. So good. Das wird so geil. Mm -hmm. Nice. One. Now the funny part. I think I need your help. 
Tisch, table, table, table. Okay. It will all make sense in a second, but I think it's easier to show you than to explain it because I'm not really sure if I'm thinking this correctly, but this is going to be the table. Harry ist da. <lacht> Felix, ich habe schon alles reserviert für mich. Nice. Boah, geil. Ja. Alter, das ist doch kein Müll. Nee, das ist doch kein Jetzt Müll. Jetzt mal ehrlich. Das ist kein Müll. Guck dir das mal an hier. Uh. Das ist ein Sägeblatt. Boah, geil. Hier, Harry. Das ist klar. Super. Guck mal, so ein... <lacht> Den brauchen wir auf jeden Fall. Oh. Warte, wir machen so ein Foto von uns. Da ist es. Wow! Ja, das sieht ja mal gut aus. The thing with these projects is I get so excited to see if it works. I get so excited to get a proof of concept that sometimes I get ahead of myself and I, I don't take the time to put in all the details that I could and to build it as professional as I could. So for this whole project, it is my goal to take out the time pressure and to just enjoy putting effort into the details. Shall we try it? Sure. I think when I'm by myself, and this is just for working, easy. Could probably sit on it, no? Alter. Now, if you're wondering why I put so much care into all the details and now all the screws are visible, there will be a thin layer of linoleum. It, it just wasn't here in time, but this will be a lin linoleum tabletop. It's gonna look so good.
good. Come on. Nee, drauf. <laughs> Mama, here's it. <laughs> I think this should be the thumbnail. Going fine, I care, no? So geil. Okay, a couple more things I need to do before I can spend the first night in my little house. Um, I need to finish this. I mean, like varnish it, make sure it doesn't get doesn't get dirty because I know I will spill coffee on this first night I sleep here. And then also I need some ventilation. Very smooth, very smooth. I need some ventilation for the mattress. I will just drill some holes in, in the top. And then I think I'm ready to use it, um, but I'm far from being done because there's a lot of detail that's still missing for the storage. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm very happy with the process, especially because I have time to take care of the details. That's what this project is about, to learn to be thorough and to learn to don't panic, don't run forward so fast, just take a second and do it properly. So, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as Smudo is enjoying this window. He thinks this is his bed, he is obviously wrong, and I will see you next week with a new video.